everybody. I'm Nick Ovenden with the uh, Boniface Engineering Recovery Tow Show demo team. Um, just about to uh, do another demonstration for you this afternoon of some new Boniface equipment. So what you can see behind me now is a rolled over articulated vehicle. Good sight for most recovery men, they kind of like to see that. What this one might be though is a loaded fuel tanker so perhaps you wouldn't perhaps like to see that one so much. But um, we treat them all pretty much the same. One of the problems that we've been having recently and we're hearing a lot about is uh, weak chassis now on tractor units. So the world's changing a little bit for recovery operators. So what we're gonna do is run through a, a demonstration with some new equipment, maybe a little bit of different technique than we've seen before, just taking things into account like weak chassis. So as you can see down through here, tri-axle trailer, uh, three-axle tractor, so potentially 44 tonnes. Um, this is empty today that we're doing, but the, the technique would be the same, equipment would be exactly the same. Um, as we walk through here, um, now would probably be a good time to disconnect our driveline because it's nice and easy to get out here. If you think you might need to wind some brakes off and stuff, do so. But don't forget that for safety's sake, we need to have some kind of brake on this. So maybe disconnect the red airline is a, is a good start before we start doing anything. Maybe some wheel chocks. Um, we haven't put any here yet because we know that we've got um, brakes on the front, brakes on the back, and all of the trailer brakes are on because we've disconnected the red line. So let's go and have a walk around the other side. We can look at the equipment, um, some changes in equipment. We're looking at top booms with XP legs, extra winches. And uh, as I've said, the, um, where we're looking at these weaker chassis now, this will be something that you might not have seen before. So we've got a strop around the cab coming from an extra winch now that's up on the machine. So I'll just take you around the machine. So we'll start at the back here. So this has got the rotator style rear leg. So this is available now on all of the Boniface range. This, this kind of part here now is pretty much the same from Mark 6 all the way up through to the 9055 range. And uh, they're all available now with the rotator style legs. So we've got the spade as it would normally come down, but this one has the extra bit that comes out. So if you're using your top boom, so this is standard 9055, but the 9055 XL now, massively long boom, lots of elevation available. So it's just better to add that extra bit of spread on the legs that gives you that better stability. Better still will be the XP legs that we got on the front. Just before we move off, one of the other demonstrations that we've done recently was lifting the crane onto the low loader and we talked a lot about the spreader bar that we used. So that spreader bar was part of the tow pole. So this is that tow pole that makes up that spreader bar. So we've already got that for our rigid bar towing, maybe for that same big crane. And those triangular plates just go on the end of that. So you can see how easy that is to stow because we've already got the, the stow brackets up on the back of the vehicle for that. Also got these extra D-rings now, so body a little bit shorter on the back here, so that we can get back if we're having a, a side pull out the back here, that we can go out and, and come back to this D-ring here, or maybe the one round here on the tailboard, or indeed back to the leg. So moving along a bit, I'll come back to the controls in a second. Um, so what we have down here, this bracket here for, for those big prop shafts. So we talked about taking the drive line off of that casualty vehicle around there. Once you've taken it off and removed it, for somewhere to put it, this bracket here now. So just kind of drop it down underneath there and you can travel along with that on the road. So these are the XP legs. Originally came from the Boniface Sidewinder. Then they became the Sumo legs on the rotators, now called the XP. So in here you can see that it has a winch mounted inside here. Winch rope spools off of that down to this pulley and then up to that swivel in fair lead up on the top. So this is very similar back to the old days of mechanical wreckers with the Holmes line and the side pullers. This is kind of almost back to that kind of technology where it's the best way to achieve a side pull is up through that. That can rotate all the way around so we can pull out the back or all the way out the side, all the way around to the front as long as we can clear the cab. So the cab of your 
recovery vehicle is the only thing that limits how far around you can go. So this comes in and out hydraulically, uh, locks off with, with air pins and stuff, and very good winch rope management on this. It's got tensioner up on the fair lead, tensioner on the back of the winch, and this pulley here slides along, so it looks after itself very well. These feet on the bottom of the XP legs uh, sit flat like this, which is our extra stability because we've got a lot of top boom out. But if we were doing a big side pull, so if we had that winch rope heading out over there, we can go out around a snatch block, either back to that leg at the bottom or back to the leg at the top here. So various different places that we can pull back to. So if we want a really low pull, we go to the bottom. If you're not too bothered about getting a low pull, you can go to the top here and that'll give you more of a two to one because your angle will, angle will be a lot shallower. So the ability to either have stability for your big boom or to have anchor ability for a big side pull on your side winch. So this truck, very versatile, eight wheel, four axle truck, a lot of weight up on the front here now, so immense lift and tow capabilities double drive on the rear end, so eight before, four winch machine, pretty cool in my book. So uh, new truck, DAF chassis, low cab also I like because the um, if you're getting out through the through the lanes and stuff you haven't got to worry so much about the trees taking stuff off the top of your top of your lorry. So 530 double drive, big powerhouse. Um, Jackson's recovery this, so we thank them for allowing us to use their new vehicle for this demonstration today. So I'll run you back down the back in a minute and we'll have a, go and have a look at the controls, have a look at the setup that we've got. We'll talk about snatch blocks and the chains and shackles and the strops and stuff that we've got on this, and then the technique that we're going to use to um, control upright on this tanker.